Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So, with everything that has been going on recently with me, I've been trying to contemplate, like, what are the things that usually make creators or people in general happiest. No matter what I came across, especially when it came to this particular platform, it was always like, families. And no, I don't mean genetic families. Genetically birthed father, genetically birthed mother, any siblings of that kind. No. I mean people grown to actually love and care for each other. A lot of the time, people are found talking about YouTube families. What, does that mean like millions of people all of a sudden are genetically birthed into like the same family without realizing it just because they're titled that? Of course not, and I know a lot of people know this. But I, I, I've noticed those who kind of are singular and run everything on their own, whether it's YouTube channels or um, side projects or whatever you might call it, they end up being the most down. And then, even outside of the platform, when it's like, I know some people who uh, get very, very down and pretty much give up on everything because they're alone. Literally, like, they don't have genetic family who care. They don't have um, people, just in general, who don't who really care. They're just kind of on their own. And then I go out to them, and they're, like, negligent because of this fact. And it's kind of sad to see. I've been one who has, because of given shown recent events, who has been in that mindset that doesn't particularly make it true, but I have been there before and I know the mindset and it's... It's hard to get out of. Really, really hard. But it is what it is, I guess. But not many can say that, unfortunately. I'm one very lucky bastard to be able to have anyone who is able to reach out to me. Like, and I've said this multiple times at this point, and I'm willing to say many more. D9, or Danny Wilson. Uh, one of my best friends who, through a lot of the hardships that I've gone through, whether I talk about it on this platform or not, he has been there for me for it, and I've done the same for him as much as I personally can. Um, and it, I, I think one of the nice things about having families like this, families, whether on platforms like this, what I'm doing with you guys, and um, genetic ones for those who are lucky enough, which aren't many people nowadays, to keep that kind of bond, are they have people to compare to in some kind of way. Even those who lose their genetic family, like, they still find ways, as long as they're not alone and they have someone to call, consider some type of family, they'll always have some kind of way to connect and compare and relate. Which... That kind of family matters. I don't know why that, like, originally this thought process came to my mind, but I've been trying to find a therapist for myself because the, what you guys, if you guys have been watching my live videos, you probably know what's going on, and honestly, the only reason I'm able to keep my cool right now is thanks to, once again, D9, um, discussing thing am amongst a few other friends, who are part of different types of groups who I would consider to a degree family. And this does... Many guys would disagree with my decisions on this front just because they don't understand the mindset that covers this, and I won't cover that here. But that also includes my right now... I would say we're under its complicated terms. She's not my girlfriend. I don't want to, I, I can't say I would really categorize her as an ex, just as someone where it's in a complicated state at the moment, so it's complicated. 
someone who is right there who's still considered someone very close and dear to me even after all the stuff that has gone on um i had a moment of weakness within that and i did show hatred towards her temporarily but it's more there, there's a lot more to the story that meets the eye, and I'm not going to talk about it right now. Maybe in another video, but not right now. And I think I have talked about it anyway. I don't know. Either way, there are very few people who I feel I can turn to, but there are enough to where I can consider them family. Outside of family itself. Because honestly, for me, it is very hard for me to find things... The things that I go through, it is very hard for me to say that I can actually relate them to my genetic family's experiences. It's just, and this happens for a lot of people, that's what peers are for, and that's what this other kind of family is for. You guys, uh, IRL friends of mine, even if it is some of you guys, um, the people who I consider family outside of genetics. I don't know how many people out there are lucky enough to say this kind of same kind of thing, but, and honestly, I, I've tried, and anyone who has had that bad experience I that I've come across, I've tried to reach out for. But it doesn't always work out, which is life, I guess. What are you supposed to do? I'll say what. Hope for the best, prep for the worst. Given recent circumstances, I was not prepped for the worst. In fact, I was so stuck in mind that I did exactly not that. But, as said multiple times at this point, I was very lucky to have some kind of family to reach out to whether genetic or not. That being said, I guess the whole point of this particular video to me is that I think family is very important, regardless of what kind of family it is. Have you? Uh, let me know what you guys have to say about something like this. Have you guys had anybody ever to reach out to when you needed it? Um, if so, I'm not going to ask you to say who, because that is your story and yours alone. I'm just more of an open person to say this kind of thing. I feel like connecting my real life to this, along with all the comedic gaming stuff that I do on here, as well as some future, hopefully, stuff that will work kind of stuff. Uh, hopefully all this works out. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But thanks for watching, guys. And again, if you do um, condone anything that I have said today, uh, let me know in the comments below, as well as giving this video a like. Uh, if you do like this life kind of stuff, consider subscribing to the channel, because I talk about this kind of stuff all the time. Sometimes it's discussions like this, rants that are, you know, we all know the definition of a rant. Or stuff that I talk about that's more about myself, about my history. Links are on the sides of my head to those kind of things, however... If you really like this stuff enough to where you want to see it consistently, consider subscribing to the channel because I put one of these up every three days. At least. Sometimes it alters and I do more live than other times, but I'm still trying to figure myself out, even after three years that this platform has existed. Or not the platform, this channel. Almost four, actually, now. I'd have to check the date. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. Um, however, I'm going to head off but I hope to catch you guys in another video. Bye for now.